Hi guys, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the sprayer tool. This tool right here, this spray objects by sculpting or painting. So let's start by going to the stars and polygons tool. Let's click on this. And then you'll see we get this stars and polygons menu up here. So we're going to click stars. Click on this one here. Make sure you have four and spoke ratio of 0.5. I've got a little bit of rounding set, but uh, that's up to you. So I will click and drag to create a star like that and then I'll select it and I'm choosing a bright color here just this yellow just so that you can see it maybe I'll zoom in a little bit using control okay so with the star selected I'm gonna to go to the sprayer tool click on that and then you'll see we get the sprayer tool menu up here so what we're gonna do is go over what these things do so this is my favorite here the way to spray uh, copies so this is uh, I think you have more control over this this button right here so if I spray you can see that I get some copies and down here you'll see that we have one object selected okay so let's undo this I'll press Control Z to get rid of everything I'll go back to the sprayer tool and let's try this one here and you'll see there's a bounding box over the second object there spray clones of the initial selection so let's select that and see what the difference is here it looks the same but it says one object, drag, click, scroll, spray clones of this selection. So if I select everything here, you can see that it's individual bounding boxes. So I'm going to press Control Z and let's check the third one. Spray objects in a single path. So let's select this one here and then spray again. And look at the bounding box. See how that changes? The bounding box is over all of them instead of individually. So that's the difference there. Uh, let's see, one object selected, single path. So this is a single path of the initial selection. I will control Z to undo. Now let's go back to the sprayer tool. I'm just gonna choose this initial one here. And let's, uh, this here, I don't, I don't know how to make that work. So, oh, it did work. Okay, that's how it works. Delete sprayed items from, uh, selection. I usually just press control Z, but there's another option there for you. Okay, so back to the spray tool. I'm going to click on this first object. Now the width. Um, I'm going to, maybe I'll down that. Eight amount. That's how many is sprayed. So if you, uh, it depends on the tools here. If you're your focus and your scatter, and then there's some tools over here that say prevent overlapping, and we'll get to that. So if I spray again, you can see that I'm overlapping here and that's no good. I'm going to press Control Z. I'll undo that. Go back to the sprayer tool. So width, amount, rotation. So if I want to spray, I don't want them all to be upright. I want them, if I'm doing a starry night scene, I don't want them to be all symmetrical and even. So I'm going to want them to have some sort of rotation. So let's up that quite a bit. Uh, scale. If you hover over these, it should give you a little message. Variation in the scale, the scale, same scale of the original object. So you'll get smaller and bigger objects. Let's bump that up a little bit and scatter. We want them to be scattered. Let's hover over, see what it tells us. Increase the scatter sprayed objects, okay? Focus, zero to spray a spot. Increase to enlarge the radius, okay? So let's increase that and this is kind of interesting here. Apply over no transparent areas. So let's say we grab a box here and let's just create a box. And let's say you only want to put sprayed objects in this box. I'll lower that to the bottom. And again, select my star, go back to the sprayer tool. So we find our menu here. So this one says apply over no transparent areas and apply over transparent areas. This here, is a transparent area. There's no color here. It looks white, but there's no color. This here, I just created this, this box here. So there's white color here. Um, apply over no transparent areas, apply over transparent areas. So let's unclick this one here and just have this one. Uh, no overlap. We want that on because we, we don't want it to overlap or go beyond our, maybe I'll color that. I'll color it. Uh, gray so we can see it. 
Okay, select the star, go back to the sprayer tool. No overlap, so we won't have that uh, problem where there's overlap. Prevent overlapping objects. Increase to segregate objects, more value and percent. Okay, so now let's try it. So you can see they're not overlapping despite the fact that I'm... Okay, and then I try to go across the border and it won't go. So that's pretty neat. That's how you can do that. And that is the end of the tutorial. That's how you can use the sprayer tool to create nice starry backgrounds. And of course you can increase the size of these with all these tools here. And if you liked the tutorial, please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.